You might be brushing your teeth wrong. This may sound gross, but you're not supposed to rinse after yes, toothbrushing. Yes. Uh, after brushing, okay, uh, spit out any excess toothpaste and don't rinse your mouth immediately after brushing. Uh, yes, by not rinsing your mouth and spitting out the excess toothpaste, you actually keep the fluoride from the toothpaste to stay on the tooth for a longer period, so it's good for the tooth. We asked you what you'd like us to investigate, and we've got experts to answer your questions. On today's episode, toothpaste. First of all, do I even need to use toothpaste? Even if you don't use toothpaste, a good technique can clean all the surface well, but definitely a good idea to have toothpaste. Why is toothpaste so important? And what should I look out for when choosing one? Toothpaste with at least 1,000 parts per million of fluoride. Fluoride can uh, remineralize, decay. It actually helps to strengthen the tooth surface. Then choose a flavour that you like. I love minty toothpaste. But if we only need that one ingredient, why are there so many types of toothpaste available? We have toothpaste for sensitive teeth and also toothpaste for whitening. The main ingredient we're looking at for whitening toothpaste either hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide. But wait, these whitening toothpaste don't have an ingredient. To make teeth whiter, we have two areas we can target. Number one, of course, is the surface stain. More likely, the toothpaste have enough abrasive particles that actually help to clean away the surface stains. The teeth appear cleaner, uh, brighter, maybe also so-called whiter. The second one is the intrinsic stain. To get the teeth whiter from the inside, then we're using hydrogen peroxide and carbonite peroxide. The toothpaste concentration is usually about 1-3%. to Because the concentration is very low, we can take months. Is that what you use at the dental clinic to professionally whiten teeth? Yes, professional teeth whitening with a dentist. When looking at a higher concentration, maybe about 30% of hydrogen peroxide and carbonite peroxide that you can't buy over the counter. Your dentist will actually cover up the gums to protect the gums so that the jaw will not cause any tissue burn. How about DIY whitening ingredients like charcoal or baking soda? Do they work? And are they safe? Well, baking soda and charcoal itself is abrasive. Our teeth has three layers, enamel white, dentin yellow, third is enough. If you brush too hard, the enamel wear off, then of course we can see the dentin. Oh, then uh, the tooth will uh, appear more yellow. Dentin exposed can lead to sensitivity. And if you're looking to release sensitivity, it would be good to get a toothpaste that contains potassium nitrate. How much toothpaste should we actually use? Pea size amount. This is the amount that is enough for cleaning our teeth. For kids less than 3 years old, use a rice grain amount or smear layer amount of toothpaste. But most important, if they can speed up the toothpaste, excess swallowing of the fluoride toothpaste can lead to dental fluorosis or white stains or, or lines on the tooth. Usually that will happen when the kids are less than 8 years old, when the adult teeth are forming. How do I choose a toothbrush? Always good to use a soft bristles to brush. Brushing our teeth is like cleaning our table. We always use a soft cloth. So same thing for our brush, that will be more gentle to the tooth surface. Always remember the amount of strength we use for brushing is as good as just wiping. Focus more on reaching the surface rather than strength. Do you brush your teeth before or after breakfast? It really doesn't matter. Just make sure that if you take anything acidic, food or drinks, uh, maybe just, just to wait for a good half an hour before brushing. Acidic food and drinks can uh, uh, weaken the surface of the tooth and when you brush it, sometimes it can wear away the tooth surface. You can also rinse the water. That can help to neutralize the acid. So, is an electric toothbrush better? Studies have shown that electronic toothbrush are better than uh, manual ones. But same so, a good manual brush can also clean well. Okay, it's all about technique. To clean your teeth well, you need a soft bristles toothbrush and a set of teeth. Always good to brush three rounds. The first round will be on the outside surface. Always a good idea not to sore. If you saw your teeth, the enamel on the tooth can wear off. Then over time, that can also cause uh, teeth sensitivity. The second round, of course, is to go on the biting surface. The last surface, of course, for brushing is to clean the inside surface. If we really clean that well, do we have to still visit the dentist every six months? Over time, when the plaque hardens to form tartars or stones, our toothbrush bristles doesn't clean it well. The ultrasonic scaler that we have then can clean all the deposits. In short, in the dental clinic, we can clean better. Let's find out if this Attack on Titan toothbrush clean my teeth well. The bristles is nice and soft. Disclosing tablets, it's disclosing time. After? How would you read this toothbrush? <laughs>